It's a celebration 100 years in the making. We're going to be hiking, biking, canoeing, and kayaking across the state of Connecticut. The Summer Outdoor Journey, or Sojourn. 11 days, 10 nights, 169 miles, with stops at 20 of Connecticut's 107 state parks. You know, the whole idea behind this is really to increase people's awareness of our state parks, to encourage them to come out because they're just so beautiful. Diane Joy, Assistant Parks Director for the DEEP, is the organizer and a participant. She is one of 20 people doing the entire trek. It's no small task. The young family of Monroe are also taking part from start to finish. And we just couldn't pass up the opportunity because we love the outdoors, we love, love the state parks. The trek begins in the northwest part of the state at Aquatic State Park in Thompson. They hit the trails and head southwest. Most of the traveling will be done on bike, but when adventure hits the center of the state and meets the Connecticut River, there will be a flurry of activities. We are going to spend a night at Dinosaur State Park, which will be great for the kids. Um, we get to spend a night at Gillette Castle, which I loved visiting Gillette Castle as a kid. We get to go on the Essex Steam Train as well. Every night, the participants will camp at a different state park. Some overnight stops are open to all. The first big one is at Gay City State Park in Hebron. We have 105 families that will be joining us for the camp out, and we'll have bonfires and singing and, and uh, astronomy programs. There will also be family sleepovers at Hammonasset in Madison and Silver Sands in Milford. Each stop its own celebration. Alex Sukolo of Chatfield Hollow is excited to have the sojourn come through his park. 11 days is, is, is quite a challenge, uh, but they have uh, incorporated plenty of break time in there. Oh, I hope that they um, get to relax a little, just to enjoy the park and enjoy the scenery. The group will be traveling one mile for every town in the state, 169. As the trip levels off along the shoreline, the last big sleepover happens here. We get to spend a night at Beardsley Zoo, and how many times do you get that chance? The first and oldest park in the state, Sherwood Island in Westport, is the last stop. Joy hopes this is the start of a yearly event. I think by doing something like this, it'll make our families healthier, our individuals healthier, um, but it'll also make our parks healthier because more people will understand um, the value of the, of the state parks. Crisscrossing the state for the Sports Edge, I'm John Pearson.